doing another video. Sorry for the delay of videos. Uh, it got cold out and um, the fishing was super dry. So as you see, I got all my rods put away and this is a review video. Mm, got all the nice fishing lures today. That Christmas money, brand new. But we're gonna get to that in a minute. Gotta show you my brand new friend. Yup, that's my friend right there. His name's Bubbles. See if he wants to come out. Oh, he's running. Come on. Oh, he don't want to leave his cage. Here's Bubbles. He's about three months old. And he's a cute little guy. He's always changing colors. Always trying to climb on my head. Put that clip in the middle of a video, maybe, or something like that. Alright, I'm gonna let Bubbles crawl on me. Oh. You know, he's not ready to go up my neck. Got a haircut and he doesn't like it. Alright, let's get to this review. First things first. Got this Columbia fishing shirt. It's got a hood, long sleeve. It says the logo on there. PFG, whatever that means. Didn't read the tag, just thought it was cool, so I bought it. Let's move on to the lures. So I got this frog section right here. Let's start off with these. I figure I'll get these little trailer for them jigs. We got two of these. Yeah, I got two packs because these favorite frog of all time. I don't care what anybody says this is my favorite. These I figured I'll just pick these up in the tournament series. Always gotta get some tournament series frogs. Pretty durable. Alright. Googan, if you guys are watching this video, most likely not, I'm a small channel. Please, please let me on your team. I'll be your New Jersey fisherman. And this is my first Guggen bait. Figured I'd just go these little lunker hogs because I figured I use a lot of these stick baits, as you see, and they work well. In Jersey, if you're fishing in New Jersey, always gotta have these on deck, especially these colors, bro. Watermelon color, things look crisp. And they're only like $5.99 at the store. And Gary Allen Motors are like $7, $8. But, I don't know, I'm gonna try them out. Then I got this little trailer right here. So I got a blue and green jig, and that thing's pretty crisp. Caught one bass, and I bought it like at the end of the year. Anyway, then I got this little power hog right here. Figured, why not buy them? Never used it before. Well, I used to carry out motor ones, but those things. I don't know. Lost them. Let's see here. Got the Ocho. These things are crisp. What size are these? Let's see. Four inch. Four inch are crisp. You put them on. Let's just move over to these hooks to show you what I'm talking about. Use these little tiny size two hooks. Hook these things up weedless. Alright, so we got two rooster tails. Well, this one's not really a rooster tail, it's a MEPS lure. And it's got the red, white stripes on there. This is the pickerel catcher 3000. Yes, indeed. And this one right here is the Bass Pro cheap clearance rack. I figured I'd just get it because it's, it's white and black. And you always catch something on a white rooster tail in the lake, so you never know. Crappy, perch, bass, pickerel, don't matter. Well, to these frogs. I guess, I don't know what kind of frog. Is this a Guggen bait? I don't think it is. Might be a Lunker Hunt bait. I, I don't know. I honestly don't know. Um, I just bought it because I needed a small frog. This one's like a popper. Never had a popper frog, so I said, let me get that. $10. Then I got this for my bait caster. Got the one on top. White one right here. Can't really see, there's too many rods up there. I got the black and white, match it. And I got these little jig heads. I forget why I got these, but I got them for something. 
whatever. I don't know what I was thinking at the time. I just bought them. And then I got these little hooks for these four inch Garys, just in case. Well, not Garys, they're Senkos by Strike King. Sorry. Or I could just use these hooks right here if I want to go wacky braid. And last but not least, I got the Bass Pro fishing shirt. This thing is so nice. And it's got a zipper too. Zip that thing right up. Oh, we never do this. Got the Bass Pro Shops container so I could put all my fresh new lures right in there. Yep, Bubbles is still chilling on my neck. He's just always there. Just chilling. Or he goes on my head. Open her up. Looking nice. Put right in a new box. Just here's the popper frog up close. I like the long legs on it, that's pretty nice. Alright, so here's the story behind the Zahara puppy. Or Zahara puppy, however you pronounce it. This lure right here is number one favorite and most lucky lure I've ever owned in my entire life. So, we're gonna go back to a time where I started fishing by myself when I was probably like 8, 10 years old. This lure right here, I got stuck in a tree. It was pouring rain out. And I didn't want to swim out in the lake. That was my last option. After I already got rained on, I was like, I'm not going in this lake. Too much seaweed and everything. Just along the edge. And it was just so disgusting. Anyway, this got stuck in a tree. And I was as I was jigging it to get it out of the tree, a bass came up and just swallowed that thing. Just, you know that sound where it's just like, My heart started racing, and I was like, oh, I'm stuck on a tree. I'm stuck on a tree. But the bass, they jumped up out of the water when I set the hook, went over the branch, and I reeled them in. And this was back in the day when I didn't have a phone, so I couldn't take a picture of them or nothing. But i say he was about, like, two pounds, a little guy. That's the story behind the Zahara puppy. And if you're wondering why I bought three of these, they haven't had these online or in the store at Cabela's or Bass Pro, Walmart, for ever, ever, ever. And they had three left of these little guys right here, the smallest one they have in this color. So that's why I bought three of them. He's on my head. It's where he likes it the most, right up there. And on the back of your neck, cause it's nice and warm. I forgot that I had weird shaped handles, but they still fit on there. Kind of hard to put them on, but whatever. Back the way. Nice and neat. I didn't put all three of these in here. Of course not. Put them back in the bag. And put them in my tackle box or my extra box that just sits inside. I think we need to make a video on bubbles. Whoa, 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 guy. What are you doing? He's trying to escape. Let's look at him. Look at him. Isn't he the coolest little thing you ever seen? There he goes. A little PS at the end of the video. My throat is super sore right now, and I'm all congested. So that's why it sounds like I'm mumbling. If I talk any louder, it hurts really bad. So, so I'm going to be signing out. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Tell your friends that... Fisherman J is an up and coming YouTuber and tell them to like, comment, and subscribe too. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Fisherman J out.